Nate Ryan here with Dale Jarrett at Hendrick Motorsports, where the car behind you, DJ, has already had quite the speed weeks. <laughs> Jimmy Johnson comes out of the box in the 2019 season, wins the clash with new crew chief Kevin Mendering. It doesn't come without some controversy, though. Uh, makes some contact with Paul Menard right before he takes the checkered flag. Ends up uh, causing a crash involving 17 cars. Paul Menard didn't seem too happy about that. Should Jimmy Johnson be expecting payback, retaliation, <laughs> or do you think that just don't expect to be cutting any slack from Paul Menard in the draft this week? Yeah, for Daytona and controversy, <laughs> surely not. But yeah, uh, we start that way once again. But that's you know it's plate racing, and these things are going to happen. And you know, been somewhat amused, maybe a little on the angry side about <laughs> some of the things that have been directed at Jimmy Johnson. So let's address Paul Menard. Certainly, he should be upset. You're upset whenever things happen. Happen. You're leading the race, doing your job, and something happens. But you also have to understand that that's part of the process of this. You know you're always in that position. Whether you're going to block, whether someone's trying to make a pass, contact can happen without there being any intent whatsoever. This was a racing incident that happened. I hate it for Paul Menard because I'd love to have seen the Wood Brothers uh, go to victory lane again at Daytona, but I also was glad to see Jimmy Johnson get back to victory lane. I think that's good for the sport. I don't think any either driver did anything wrong. Just sometimes things happen. Will Paul Menard be looking at payback? No, not in a way that he's going to go wreck Jimmy Johnson. Uh, there wasn't any intent there. And, and I think, though, if, if Paul has something, then he may make drafting a little bit more difficult if they find themselves a, around uh, each other in the duels or, or uh, in the Daytona 500. Uh, he can do that just to send a little bit of a message. But I think Paul understands that this is a type of racing, the things that happen with this. And certainly Jimmy understands that you have to be aggressive if you're going to win these races. Uh, Seven-time champion, hadn't been to victory lane in a while. He was willing to do whatever it took, and uh, he made the move that he felt like he needed to do. Yeah, and of course, there wasn't much action prior to that contact, yeah. which is part of the reason that it occurred. Drivers raced single file for much of the clash. Rain shortened race, so it wasn't a full sample size of what we're going to see Sunday in the Daytona. 500, but some drivers, DJ like Kurt Busch, were saying they were, they wanted more stability in the cars. They want a little bit more comfort mm -hmm. to be able to race side by side in the past uh, people. Uh, should NASCAR do anything to increase stability in the cars for Sunday? I know you have an interesting <laughs> take on, on how you feel about that. I'm not 100% sure that NASCAR shouldn't do anything. I'm about 150% sure that they shouldn't do anything <laughs> to these cars. I'm sorry. You know, this is, this is hard, you know, and, and it should be difficult. Uh, you know, I, I don't want these drivers to be put in bad situations because the cars don't drive. But you find a way. You, you adapt to, to what you have to work with. You have a gas pedal and you have a brake pedal, and, and you know what your limits are with your race car what you can and can't do and that's what you have to find out i'm a belief in watching these cars that that they almost drive too good and and some of the things that they're trying to do to get speed out of it they're bringing on the the cars not feeling as good as they would like uh, themselves in, in trying to find that speed. So you have to get a balance. If you're going to win the Daytona 500, yeah, you have to have a fast race car, but you also have to have something that you can maneuver with because you're going to be in a pack of cars all day long. So it's the team's responsibility. Yes, absolutely. To yeah. Increase handling at the expense of speed. Yeah, you you've got to. things that you've got more tools now than what you have had uh, in previous years to try to make your car drive a little bit better and, and where you can make the moves you know need to. This is difficult to do. It's hard to win this race, but you have to have a car you can maneuver with. So uh, take away a little bit of that speed and make your car drive a little bit better, and you might find that that's what gets you to victory lane. Hey, NASCAR fans. Thanks for checking out the NBC Sports YouTube channel. Make sure you hit subscribe below for the latest NASCAR news, race highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.